is up Joe fam welcome back to another video and today's video is gonna be kind of long because I am reviewing my sophomore year if you have not seen my previous what well, <laughs> if you have not seen my previous video reviewing my freshman year you might as well go watch that because some of that's gonna tie into this story okay so <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and start from the last thing I can remember from last year. So it was the summer. Uh, me and Kirsten aren't friends. Me and Parker still haven't talked. And Mariah had transferred from the school. Okay. So those three people will be in this story. <sighs> Gosh. So it was move-in day. No, let's backtrack. Summer. So me and Mariah were hanging out for the last time before she had to go to college about two hours away and I was super super upset that we weren't gonna be able to hang out like share a dorm room because we had everything set up I had fought for her to be my roommate and you know I felt like I had nobody because I already didn't want to be there because I didn't want to see Kirsten I didn't want to have to deal with Parker and it was just so overwhelming and well <sighs> I dealt with that pain for a while and she as well as my dad told me to message this girl I met my senior year of high school at a softball game for our school. She was a two uh she was touring and she was also committing that night. So this girl's name is Kai. So I messaged her to hang out and be my throwing partner. She's from California, so we couldn't hang out until uh, she got to the school. So, I messaged her, she said yes to all of it. And so, move-in day, she tells me that she's hanging out with her roommate, who's also from California. And I said, okay, I will hang out with her as well. So, I met her roommate. Uh, I met her roommate. Uh, at a signing yes a signing for a girl that was coming here and I met her and honestly I thought she hated my guts I'm not gonna lie I thought she hated my freaking guts um in which she didn't that night we actually went down a slip and slide and it had paint and it had soap it was really fun we went and got white shirts for it and it was honestly just a blast. I got to hang out with them and bond with them a little bit more. About the first week of school, might have been the second week, I started hanging out with them so much. I would stay late in their dorm room uh, to the, where, the point where they started asking me to spend the night. So I spent the night and <laughs> I spent the night so much they offered me to stay in their dorm room. So I went to my dorm room, moved some stuff into theirs, and it's really history from there. Uh, I'll go ahead and start with the fall, so it's all in order. Uh, after I stayed in the dorm room, there's a lot of crap that happened in the dorm room. Kai broke her bed, we saran wrapped Kai's stuff, in which, if you wanna see Kai's stuff saran wrapped, go check out the College Baddie channel. We actually made a YouTube channel, so I asked the girls if they wanted to make a YouTube channel to cherish our memories and our adventures, in which they said yes. So we made a YouTube channel and I wouldn't have asked any uh, anyone else to make a YouTube channel with because I honestly thought I was gonna just chill with my personal and honestly, it was the best decision I've ever made. Okay, so we surrounded out Kai's stuff. We broke stuff. <laughs> uh, we played ball in the dorm room in which resulted in uh, water spilling on Brittany's laptop. Kai ate food off the floor. Me and Brittany tricked Kai that there was a ghost in the room. It was, it was a blast. So much has happened in that dorm room in the fall that I can't even remember everything. Um, and then we had so many adventures in the fall. Uh, I think the fall was the best fall I've ever had through high school and even last year. We went to Texas three times. Uh, we went to Texas the first time for In-N-Out because I'd never had it. So if you want to see my first In-N-Out trip, that's on my main channel, go check it out. The second and third time was for uh, Six Flags. The second one, we went Six Flags and In-N-Out. 
And then the third time it was Fright Fest. And we even stayed in a hotel and it was really fun. Uh, I'm not a scary person. I didn't really, <laughs> was not excited to really go to Fright Fest. I just like roller coasters. But it really wasn't as bad as it seemed. Um, we went to Fright Fest in Oklahoma at Frontier City. We dressed up. It was, it was a blast. I felt like I got to do so much with them that I never thought I was going to have with anyone else. Uh, we had a boo bash thing. Went to that. We dressed up. Uh, <laughs> story about that. Uh, the fall was really hard for my love life. Uh, I went, I felt like I was just, I was searching so much. And I would get ghosted like the first guy. I got, I met him and I got ghosted the next day because I wouldn't touch his junk. The second time, the second guy uh, I met, I was on dating apps. This is where I met all the guys. So the second guy I met, uh, I met him in person. He was in the military. I was supposed to take him to Boo Bash with me. He ended up dropping things because it was him. It, it's not you, it's me, that bull crap that people say. Um, which I'm honestly okay with that because he disrespected my friends and I don't deal with that. So I was really heartbroken at the Boo Bash because I was alone. I actually won the, uh, the single award. That was really embarrassing. But Kirsten was there, as long as her boyfriend Zach and Parker was there, I was bawling. Like, it was just not the night for me. Because I wanted to be able to bring this guy to show that I can pull people too, you know? Show that I'm happy. But deep down, I know that I wasn't, and I was not ready for a relationship. I just wanted to be in one, you know? So, I went through maybe three people, you know, being ghosted, being hurt, stuff like that. Uh, it was really hard for me. But the hardest part of the fall was uh, just being around softball. Not like necessarily the game, but the girls, like there was, I felt like there was so much drama. There was different groups and everything. Uh, speaking of softball, um, the fall uh, is where I, broke my first bone ever so there was an inside pitch coming and i was swinging and it was about to hit this, this inside pitch was gonna hit me let's be honest this inside pitch was gonna hit me i still swung and it hit me right here and it broke in between my fingers so i was out for a while with a broken hand um it was just it was crazy but all all in all, softball in the fall was pretty amazing. Uh, I loved the coaches. We got a new coach. My travel ball coach is actually our new assistant coach. Um, I made friends. Like, I mean, there was just, it was just different groups. Like, people were trying to be bossy, blah, 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 stuff like that. Um, and then the girls had to leave for Thanksgiving. Um, this is one of the hardest moments I experienced in the fall because my two best friends who I've grown so much love for spent 24 seven with had to leave for California. Uh, if you want to watch that video, go on the college Batty channel. It's saying goodbye. Um, I bawled a lot. It was crazy. Uh, but we still FaceTimed every day and we talked, we, Snapchatted, it was, it was nothing different. Um, during the break, uh, I actually started catching feelings for my ex. Don't, I don't know why, but I did because I saw that all these guys aren't working and I was gonna settle for him. And honestly, that would have been the worst decision to do, but you know. When you're depressed, you just want anything to be happy, but that would have probably put me more in depression. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, I met this guy, I went back on dating apps. So I deleted dating apps and I went back on and I met this guy. And we were hitting it really well, hitting it off really well until he had told me that his ex-girlfriend was his soulmate, he screwed up. I blocked him, I yelled at him, it was, it was horrible. It was honestly the worst thing I could have uh, 
been through during the breaks. I didn't have the girls with me. Parents didn't know about them. It was crazy. I didn't even tell the girls because I didn't know how well it was going to go. And then I told them when they got back, like, this is what happened. It was, it was so bad. Like, not even going to lie to you. Um, so that's when it really started to hit me that I was hooked back on Parker and stuff like that. Um, as you know, our five year anniversary would have been January 12th. So when the girls came back and I picked them up, go watch that video, uh, reuniting after 40 days on the College Baddie channel. After picking them up, uh, I to talked to them. I was like, look, I'm having feelings for Parker again. I don't know what to do, help me out. And honestly, they supported me. They didn't like the decision, but they supported me. Uh, so when we got back to school, I messaged him on Instagram to talk to him again, cause I was still blocked on everything else. So that was the only way I can get a hold of him. He agreed, I talked to him about it. I was like, look, like, do you want to get back together? Like it's been over a year. And he said, no, I don't know if you're going to hurt me again. Some childish bull crap. And then, you know, me bawling my eyes out cause I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna be single forever. Uh, so I left, he offered me his jacket and to walk me back to the dorm room. And I said, no, after the way you just treated me, no. He blamed all the stuff on me. That was a normal with him. Uh, everything was my fault. You did this, you said this, blah, blah, blah. It was always your fault. Um, and he also started talking about my friends once again, you know, just like high school, you know, arguing with my friends, not liking my friends, blah, 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 things that just stress me plumb out because he wasn't answering me and he would tell, well, he did answer me. He said he would talk at this day, ditches that day, tells me he was going to talk another day, ditches that day. Kai got tired of it. Kai was completely over it. And so Kai messaged him and stuff like that. And you had... Brittany getting irritated. It was just like, it was a whole ordeal, if I'm being honest. Um, but after that, I kind of realized he's not the one. He's a douchebag. I don't need him. So I went away from that. Um, so in the spring, softball started. So we were playing games after games after games after games. And me and the girls were constantly doing homework or we were constant we we didn't get to travel anywhere <laughs> nowhere uh at the beginning but which was okay uh I also went through some phases of trying to be in a relationship once again because I was trying to get over my ex because I still couldn't get over him I went through this one guy that I met in elementary school and I got cheated on on valentine's day it was I think I went through someone else to be honest. And then I deleted, I deleted dating apps. And then I got, after I got cheated on, I went back on dating apps. And this is where the story gets interesting. So I went on Bumble and I told myself, I'm going to screw with guys feelings so they can understand what I'm feeling, what every girl feels on these dating apps. So I'm having Kai just swipe right on everybody, blah, blah, blah. The first day, you know, I'm texting people, pretending I like them, saying, oh, you're cute. Add me on Snapchat, blah, blah, blah. About a week into Bumble, I stopped doing that because I'm not the person to mess with people's feelings. So I kind of stopped because I felt bad. Like, that's not who I am. Uh, I got back on Bumble to see who was there just to see out there and the first person i see is literally the most handsome guy i've ever seen in my life like i was like dang honestly the first time i saw this guy i was like wow like he is cute i was scrolling through i was like oh he likes step brothers he's fine he's in oklahoma he's in college swipe right boom match i text him and, you know, we're texting back and forth. I'm being really dry because I didn't know what I wanted. After being cheated on on Valentine's Day, I didn't want a relationship. I just wanted to screw with people. Like, 
I want to screw people's feelings, not screw people, but you know what I mean? I want to screw people's feelings. Like I didn't want to be in a relationship. I didn't believe in love. I didn't want to get married. I don't, didn't want to have kids. Like I just wanted to be single. Um, so we started texting. I was being really dry, like seriously dry. And I remember him telling me that I look good with a nose ring. And I actually got my nose pierced in January. This is March. Not much happened January and February, other than getting cheated on and softball. That was about it. But I did get my nose pierced in January. Uh, not the point. So this is March. And I met this guy and he said I look good with a nose ring. And I said, thanks. And again, you know, I'm being dry. And somehow, somehow I ended up FaceTiming him. <laughs> the next couple nights, I believe, I ended up FaceTiming this guy. Like, I'm literally so dry and this guy just wants to FaceTime me. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, and so I agreed to FaceTime. And, you know, I was on Omegle. Because me and the girls used to always go on Omegle and make fun of people who were in the mood. You know, we just bash them. So I'm on FaceTime with this guy. Not knowing what I want. Not really caring what he thinks. And I'm on Omegle <laughs> looking at freaking people, <laughs> you know? If you've been on Omegle, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and I have this guy just sitting there. I'm talking to him. I'm listening to the girls. I'm watching Omegle. I'm on a live on one of Kai's lives. And he still wanted to fall asleep on the phone. And so we did. We talked every single day after that. And honestly, I started, I wanted to keep my heart closed so bad, but it was like I was falling for this guy. Every week that I didn't get blocked, I was, I was falling for this guy. Um, so if y'all want to know <laughs> what this guy's name is, his name is Bo. Um, his birthday was March 14th. I had posted this post. This is like literally after like I knew that I wanted this guy in my life. I saw something different with him and I didn't know what it was, but I surely had to find out. Um, I did a happy birthday post and honestly, he tells me that that's when he knew he needed to <laughs> open up. And so, you know, we opened up, we met on his birthday, we went out to the garage, hung out, it was really silent, <laughs> we were both really shy, um, but, you know, it's okay, and then we hung out another time, yeah, yes, yeah, we hung out another time, and we went to uh, Guthrie, and we met in the middle from his college and my college, met in the middle, and went to a museum, and then we had a spring banquet and I had asked him to go to the spring banquet with me that the school was holding in which he said yes. So we hung out by going to the mall and picking out some clothes, trying to figure out what to wear. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> and that is where it all starts. That is March 28th, 2021. We were heading back to the school. He was driving me home when he had asked me out. And honestly, I was at that moment, I was ready for a relationship. Um, so I said, yes, I knew, I knew that I had to figure out what was different about this guy. You no, know, I was over my ex. I, I was ready to be in a relationship. Like I just knew something was up about this guy. And so I said, yes. And we actually are really strong. We're about to hit our two months next week. And I'm really excited. It's really hard. It's, it's, a, it's not a hard relationship, but it's hard to see each other because we're such long distance. You know, he went home for the summer. He's three and a half hours away. Like it's, it's really hard to see each other, but it's the constant communication that we have. Um, He's literally the best boyfriend that I could ever ask for. Um, again, he's like adorable. <laughs> like he's at six foot one. So it's like, I'm always constantly looking up. 
he's fine as crap like oof <laughs> I'm literally so happy with him and I wouldn't trade him for anyone else uh so <laughs> that's really my love life of the year and then during softball we kind of lost some friends gained some friends and then lost them again uh but it was always us three uh together no matter what it was oh sorry my little brother was calling but it was always us three together no matter what um it it's been such an amazing experience uh we actually played an arkansas team at our field and one of the arkansas girls had had a heat stroke and after the game, we had asked her if she was okay. We DM'd her on Instagram, you know, stalked, stalked her, I guess, to find her on Instagram. And we became friends with her, in which we became friends with some of the other girls on the team. And so, honestly, like, they're also amazing. I love every single one of those girls. Uh, we actually went down to Arkansas for a two-day game. So, it was four games in total. Uh, we actually knew them, so it was a little awkward at first because... We knew them, uh, but it was really fun. And then we, so that was a Friday, Saturday deal. We left to go back home Saturday. And then we turned around Sunday morning and drove back to Arkansas, just us three girls. Um, and we rode scooters with them and we went to Missouri to a hike. Like this is the first time ever hanging out with these girls. And we literally trusted them not to kill us, honestly. Um, but I felt like we grew a bond with them as well, and to have them added to our friend group was amazing. Although it is hard because they're from Arkansas, we can't see each other every day, but, you know, that's what FaceTime and Snapchat's for. Uh, sadly, we did not do too well in our softball season, so we didn't make it to postseason, but honestly, the way I started... The season was amazing. I actually got player of the year the first, oh no, player of the week, not the year, player of the week, the first week of soft, uh, first week of games and really blessed to have that. And I ended with a, like an award towards like, you're the best p uh, person at that position thing. It'll be up here, don't worry. But it's like, you're the best person at that position and I'm blessed to have that. That's what I ended with. And honestly, I'm kind of upset of how the season fell out, but then yet I'm proud of myself. Like I'm 50-50 with it. Like I'm proud of my fielding, not proud of my hitting. My hitting was horrible. It was really good at the beginning and then it uh, went downhill. But you know, it's really the memories to me that I'm having. I'm loving every single minute of it. I finished with all A's except one. My night class was a B. Um, but I did really good in school. And then we uh, moved out of the dorm and the girls came here and spent the night. They stayed for my birthday and I was supposed to have a birthday video, but it got ruined because it got deleted somehow. But we went to Texas Roadhouse. I rode the bull. Uh, we got one of the Arkansas girls to come down because I invited all the Arkansas girls. Only one came down, got her to ride the bull because her <laughs> birthday's coming up. And it was honestly a blast. And then that next weekend, I had a, no, that weekend. That weekend, I had a birthday party. Uh, you know, my boyfriend came down as well as he did uh, for my birthday. Had him come down. I had my family there. We did slip and slide with soap and baby oil. We had a baseball slip and slide. We rode four wheelers. We went fishing in which I caught fish. Uh, it took like two hours, but I caught a fish. Um, but it was honestly, it was the best time. Sorry, my video cut out. Where was I? Um, I do really love, uh, this, uh, birthday that I had. It was a lot better than last year, but I know I have the girls to be there for me when I need them. Just like when I tried to be friends with Kirsten again, it didn't work out. She ruined that. Tried to get back with my ex, got hurt again, and they were there for me. And now I have a boyfriend, an amazing boyfriend that will be there for all my tough times in the future. And I'm excited to see what the future holds 
for me and my boyfriend and for me and my friends. Uh, the girls are actually not here. They left May 19th. They drove back to California, a three day trip, took their dogs, Tucker and Jesse. Their dogs are actually Presley's second litter. It was an accident. We, she had five dog, uh, five puppies. We get, my cousin bought one, some dude bought one, Brittany and Kai each bought one and I kept one, Tuplo. He's a little, he's a little rowdy, but he's a cute little furball. Um, but uh, I thought 40 days was hard without the girls, but I'm telling you right now, <laughs> this whole three months bull crap is hard. I cried so much on Wednesday when they left and my boyfriend actually came down to spend the day with me to make sure I was okay. And it has literally just been amazing. And to know that it's been almost two months with him, it feels like it's like yesterday I met him and I love him so much and he's really the best. Um, I know I'll see the girls in three months. A saying goodbye part two video will be coming out on College Baddies, so be ready for that. And also a reunion in three months in August and I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see them come back. I miss them so much. It's hard waking up, not seeing them, not being with them 24 seven, you know, I'm alone, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm getting through it. But that's basically my sophomore year and it was a lot better than last year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll be back with reviewing my junior year next year. You're all beautiful and God created you for reason. Peace. Thank you.